back. And thanks for coming back. How do you get rid of GERD? How do you get rid of esophageal reflux? You know, all this acid coming up. Is it really just related to diet? You know, if you've had this problem a long time, I hope you've watched my videos, in particular this one here, the real cause of acid reflux and how to get rid of it. I'd like you to go and watch that video. All right, it goes for a, few, a good 10, 15 minutes, but it will not be. 14 minutes off your lifespan. It'll probably be five years on your lifespan. So please watch that video if you've got GERD, okay, or reflux. Particularly if you're taking a drug long term, you need to watch that video, right? There's lots of little tips and hints in there. Watch it once or twice, particularly about the, the cement mixer. I want you to understand that concept very carefully, all right? So how could restoring the gut bacteria really be conducive towards eliminating, you know, or at the very least improving GERD. Well, as I've mentioned in previous videos on acid reflux, you're going to get really, really um, good result if you understand where the noise is coming from, right? So the noise meaning there's a cause. Now it could be hiatal hernia, okay? It could be some spicy food you're eating. Watch that video, all right? So, but suffice to say, once you've made some changes, all right, you'll really want to start improving and restoring your bacteria down here. Once you start cleaning them up, getting rid of the bad guys, you know, trying to move out yeasts and overgrowths of bacteria, once you've solved that problem, you start putting good bacteria back in there, you watch what happens. This treatment can be done at the same time as you're working on the reflux disease. So as I mentioned, look at the noise, Turn off the signal as much as you can. Start working on restoring your gut function. Probiotics, antifungals, antibacterials, antimicrobials. Hopefully you're going to go for natural stuff and not antibiotics. can make a significant difference in your life. I've worked with many patients over years who really got rid of their reflux disease entirely by, again, identifying some key triggers, making some slight diet changes, meal reductions, walking more, sitting up more, you know, not, uh, in terms of like after meals, uh, not eating in bed and, you know, crazy things like that. And then particularly started to work on the prebiotic foods. So working on eating good foods that help to build good bacterial health. Also eating foods that help to counter or curb uh, microbial growth that you don't really want. And this is what thing excites me about my new kitchen. When it's finally done, the guys come in on Thursday to start putting the kitchen down. It's going to be awesome because I want to show you guys how you can take different things from the garden that really help to counter a lot of microbes in the gut. So it's going to work well. All right? But you can work on this and this at the same time. Some people prefer to work with an antimicrobial approach when they've got good. They'll slowly improve. But I feel the best is when you tackle these problems simultaneously and work on them. You'll get a much, much better take and... Um, mitigation of these upper GI symptoms by also working on the lower GI symptoms if you can, all right? It's definitely worth a try, particularly if you've been suffering for a long time. And I'm pretty sure that if you've had reflux disease many years and you've been taking PPI drugs or any other medication to calm that, that you're going to have a gut problem. So it makes sense that you're going to have a real mess down here of bacteria and stuff. So if you work on this, you're going to get also a way better result on improving what's up here in, in this stomach function. All right? Common sense. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Don't forget the link below if you want my free Candida report. And as always, thanks for tuning in.